tranquility and magnanimity was needed even today attacking the opposition, says Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Padmaja, good evening. Let me begin by congratulating our uh, PM-elect for a third historical term. I couldn't be happier because here we are establishing faith in the best leader this country has ever seen. So congratulations to Modi ji, the entire NDA and Bharti Janta Party. There is so much discussion around a coalition government this time. I want to directly ask everybody in the Congress, you ran UPA twice. Are you claiming that both the times your coalition was a failure? If that is your statement, then please say it clearly on record for the whole country to hear that our coalition of UPA was an absolute failure. Say that. And if you can't say that, then listen to this. One, Modi ji has had the faith of the people of this country again and again, whether as a chief minister or as a prime minister, even now for a historical third term. In fact, currently he is the elected leader for the highest number of days in all office no, but ever. No, answer so the body language. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary is coming to that. point I'm is, coming to the body be language. humble and victory. Body language. Humble. So, you know, I, and I have been saying this since before the results came, Padmaja. We are humble in defeat, we are humble in victory, and every time we say, Jo janta ki ichha hai, the will of the people is paramount and sarako par. But look at the opposition here. They are the ones talking about grace. With the 99 seats, you are talking as if this moral victory is way more important than the real victory. With Mr. 99 Chaudhary. seats, you still forget that after three terms, Congress still doesn't have as many yeah, seats as Padmada, Modi Sarkar has Padmada, had. Mr. Uh, Chaudhary. You can teach somebody how to behave in a public life. Where, yeah, Padmaja, Padmaja, just a minute. I was just suggesting this out here, you know, the 2024 elections was all about defeating the arrogance in the ruling Bhartiya Janta Party and his allies. Fifteen of their ministers have lost this time because of their arrogance. Right from Smriti Irani to Chandra Shekharji and a lot more out here. Now, if you start your third term without taking into the people's manifesto into your account, create a roadmap for the future. It's very much irrelevant who rules in 2029 or who is ruling now. Hmm. But the country, the India story must go on. We have all but that is, along. That is what was said, right? Years, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, respond. What about the India story? None of you spoke of India story, Mr. Reddy. Madam, I don't understand. See, well, uh, today Congress, in fact, uh, the way they were speaking of NDA is Naidu and Nitesh Alliance. Uh, don't you think it is stupid? See, uh, uh, some common sense. You go about mocking the uh, NDA Alliance, making uh, statements. In fact, the last one week, no, CBN uh, Chandrababu Naidu is not going to be with uh, Modi. He is going to be with NDA Alliance. He has had supper with us. He is joining us. We know him very well. We were in bed with him. What nonsense. And these are the statements they have been uh, making. And uh, you want everybody else to be humble, docile, and uh, be a good boy. It will, won't happen. Hmm. It will not happen. And when, if you talk you about humility, minister, many could argue in Mr. Reddy's well. state, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary in Andhra Pradesh, your state president lost the election. She was fielded from Kadapa. She lost her election. Mr. No, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Basically, the, the people have lost elections. Even our... Yeah, can you can you listen to me? I am telling you, even Adir Ranjan Chaudhary, a five times MP, a grassroots leader has lost the election. Exactly. And yet that doesn't that make you humble. You are saying it's the BJP's you... moral defeat. Is it a moral defeat for you in West Bengal for the Congress, where Adir Ranjan Chaudhary, the leader of opposition, has lost? Is it a moral defeat for you in Andhra Pradesh, where your state president, after so much of talk about how she is going to defeat her own family member. She lost the election over there. We're just getting fresh images from within the Rashtrapati Bhavan, where the Prime Minister has just met the President. Answer this question, Mr. Chaudhary. What is that? Moral defeat? Basically, you... No, basically, listen, Padmaja, the point here is that you have hyped up Annamala in Tamil Nadu. He lost the election in Coimbatore. I have you hyped have got up no nobody. Right -wing uh, poster boys like Navneet Rana in Amravati who have lost the election. Now, after that, you see the arrogance of these BJP leaders and the, their alliance partners with which they are trying to demean the opposition Charu as Kajya. if by winning 240 seats... So, Mr. Chaudhary, can I, can, I can I please speak? Now, remember one thing. 
the founders of the indi non alliance left you the very founders right also remember that tmc chose not to contest with you aam aadmi party chose not to contest with you in one big state and already as soon as elections are over they have said tata bye bye to you divorcing you effectively so that's the status of the non alliance that you keep boasting about and humility i am sorry sir instead of doing some retrospection and defeat you sit here attacking the next term of government which is about to be sworn in i mean okay. i any of it is unbelievable unbelievable why don't you go back and introspect why none of your alliance partners chose to stick with you either before elections or after elections why don't you focus on what your leaders say in their speeches okay i'm going to leave it at can... that i'm going to leave it at that the swearing in is going to take place on sunday now after that the longevity or otherwise will be for all of us to see and judge thanks gentlemen charu pragya for joining me